The Yukon hockey season is underway, and we welcome you to our first episode of the Year of Center Ice. I'm Joe D'Ambrosio from WTIC Radio in Hartford, and it's my pleasure to be your host this year for Center Ice. And no better way to start than the third-year head coach of the Huskies, Mike Cavanaugh. Coach, thanks for coming. It sounds like it's going to be an exciting season. Thanks for having me, Joe. Uh, I think it is. I think it's going to be a great season. We've got terrific leadership and some young blood infused in the program, and we're looking forward to a Exciting season and a uh, challenging one at that as well. Let's talk about some of the changes. First off, a change on the coaching staff. Brendan Buckley comes in as an assistant. This is a gentleman with a lot of pro experience. Uh, my first year at Boston College, Brendan was a freshman, so I've known him for a long time and terrific leader. Uh, he was a, I think he played 600 American Hockey League games right. and he was captain on four different teams. And he's going to bring a lot of experience and knowledge to our defensive core, for sure. You've got a lot of veterans, as you mentioned, but you've got talented newcomers. Five goals this weekend of the seven in Alabama, and Max Letnoff is the co-Hockey East Rookie of the Week. Yeah, Max certainly was our marquee recruit coming in here. Uh, it was a situation where we got him late in the summer, but he, uh, he actually started slow. In, in his first game, but... He caught up quickly. He did, in the, in the second <laughs> period. You know, one of the exciting things for us as a coaching staff was one of the areas we struggled with last year was scoring goals, right. and especially off the rush. Mm -hmm. We didn't score a lot of goals off the rush. Four of our seven goals this weekend came off the rush, so that was really exciting for us, and that means that we have some creative guys that can make some plays, and Max is certainly one of those guys. I also thought Paige Thompson, another top recruit, uh, had a, fan, a fantastic weekend, played really hard both games. What's the biggest adjustment, Mike, for newcomers coming from uh, junior hockey or high school hockey or club hockey to play at the Division I uh, Hockey East level? I think it's speed and uh, strength. I think at first the, the game is, is probably a little bit quicker, but where they struggle the most or where they have to catch up to speed the most is, say, in the offensive zone when they have the puck, time and space gets taken away very quickly. So they have to learn to protect the puck and buy more time for themselves. And once they adjust to that, then, then everything you know falls into place for them usually. You talked about your uh, leadership. One of them, Patrick Kirtland, will be with us uh, a little bit later on in the show. But talk about your, your, your captains and, and how they've been as far as being leaders in this early season. You know, last year we had Ryan Tyson, who I thought was as good a captain as I've seen in, in my career. And, I think Pat Curtin's picking right up where he left off. He's, you know, I've, this is my third year with him, and he's one of those players that he leads by example. He doesn't say a whole lot, but he plays hard. He's tough, and he competes, and he's exactly what we want in a Husky hockey player. You split the weekend series at Alabama Huntsville, winning the opener, losing the second game. From a 120-minute a standpoint, what did you like that you saw from the Huskies, and what needs work going into the home opener against ASU? You know, what I liked was uh, our ability to score goals. I thought our power play needs some work. Is that something, though? Is, is this, is, I mean, early in the season, teams have a hard time getting the power play to work? Uh, yes and no. We, we just have to do a better job of keeping it simple and getting pucks to the net. I thought we were a little bit too cute at times, but that will come. We're, we're going to have a very good power play. Uh, I like the play of our goaltending uh, both nights. I thought Robbie was excellent on, on Friday night. And Stevie Thulin, even though he got the loss, I thought he played well. He wasn't the reason that we lost that game. Friday night is the home opener at the XL Center, 7.05 against the Arizona State University. When people hear you're going to play Arizona State, they probably shake their heads and go, I didn't know they had a hockey program. Well, this is their first year in Division One. They upgraded their entire program last year, very similar to what we did, uh, with the exception of they were a club team. Uh, we were a Division I team playing in the Atlantic Hockey League, moving in the Hockey East. They were a club team, and hey, they had an impressive weekend last weekend. They go up to Alaska, and they lose to Anchorage in overtime the first night, and then they beat Fairbanks the second night. And then those are two established Division I hockey programs, uh, so we're going to have a formidable foe uh, on Friday night. Last question, is it hard because they played two games a trillion miles away, and it's a new team to kind of get a scouting report on them? No, we'll have tape on both of those games, so I think that will be uh, beneficial for us, where we didn't really have much on Alabama Huntsville. Right. But we'll have some tape on Arizona State. But at the end of the day, Joe, it's more how we play. We shore up on those things. We play top games, like I said. Play with uh, energy, I think, will be... That's where we'll be most successful. Ice bus roars at 7.05 on Friday night at the XL Center, led by Coach Mike Cavanaugh. Thanks, Cap. Thanks, Joe.
And now time for our player profile. And who better to bring in than the captain of the Huskies, the senior from Rocky Hill, Pat Kirtland. Thanks for coming in. Congratulations on opening the season with a goal 26 seconds in. I mean, that's it, it's, it's hard to imagine your first shift of the year and you score. Tell the people about it. Yeah, um, obviously that's not really how I planned it out. Um, but we just got in the four check there. And uh, I kind of moved the puck up to David Drake at the point and just went to the front of the net. And uh, good things happened. Tipping? No, rebound. I rebound. Bad. Nice. And you probably, I mean, that, to, to get the goal on your first shift, I mean, that's, that's going to be a super feeling. Yeah, it was awesome. Um, obviously, we didn't really follow it up the way we had hoped to, but um, it was a good way to start the year. Uh, Pat, last year was such a big year. The excitement at the XL Center was off the roof. What are the team's expectations for this season? At home, play the way we did last year. Um, I think we played some of our best games there. Um, and if we can continue that throughout this year, then um, I think good things will happen. What did you guys learn about Hockey East last year, maybe that you didn't expect going into the year? Um, we kind of knew what it would be like. Um, probably the toughest thing was to come in every night and you knew I mean there was no easy games every night it was gonna be a battle um, and we found out we found that out the hard way what is it like to be named the captain of this team and to have the C on your chest and be the guy who's the leader of this of this group yeah it feels great um, I said it before to be picked by the coach and by the players is one different thing um, so I feel honored that my teammates have picked me like that is it a lot of responsibility? I don't feel like it's a lot. Um, I have Sean and Derek next to me, um, along with the entire team. Um, so this is kind of a lead by committee. Um, we all know what we have to do out there, and um, I think with the group of guys that we have, it's, uh, it's pretty easy. Now, Friday night, back at the XL Center for the first time this season, were you guys surprised by the reception you guys got at home last year? I think so. Uh, I think it could have gone either way. Uh, obviously, it helped out with that big win against Boston College, um, but yeah, I think I think we were, to a degree, kind of surprised, um, but we were, it was awesome, and we can't wait to get back there. And a little more respect this year in the preseason poll in Hockey East, you get picked ninth, you don't get picked last. I think people took a note of what you kind of did last year. Yeah, I think so, um, but we try to not pay attention to that. Um, we don't really care what they have to say. Um, we're just trying to go out there and win every game we can. All right, time for a segment that we like to call Light the Lamp. This is a little bit different, a little bit easy stuff. Um, are you superstitious, guys? What are your pregame superstitions? Um, I can be. If it's working for me, I'll, keep, I'll stick to it. But if not, I'll try to... What, did you have any superstitions on Friday and then scoring a goal? You had to do them again on Saturday? Just the same routine, nothing, nothing crazy. Uh, pregame music, what do you got in the earbuds to get you, get you juice to go out on the ice? We kind of listen to uh, the stereo, and uh, Will Galonk is in charge of that, so you have to talk to him about that. You don't let Kavanaugh give you musical choices? No, that's Will's, that's Will's job. If, you thought, if the coach was going to give you music, would you give you music? Uh, like 70s, 80s? I don't even want to know. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't play hockey, Pat, what sport would you be most likely to play? Um, I would have liked to play golf. I don't think I would have been very good at it. Do you golf but, now? Yes, during the summer I do. What's your handicap? Um, I usually shoot. I don't. I don't know. I what usually, do you usually shoot? Like a lower, lower to mid eighties. So your handicap is like 12, 13. I don't want to talk to you. Craziest goal celebration, either by you or somebody else. Nice um, I don't think there's been crazy ones. I think Nas kind of jumps into the glass or goes to the glass right away. Um, I'd say that's kind of really the only crazy one, I guess. Pat Kirtland, captain of the Huskies, thanks. Thank you. All right, so UConn hits the ice Friday night at the XL Center, 7.05 to take on Arizona State as the Huskies play their first home game of the new season. For Pat, for Coach Mike Cavanaugh, and the best video crew in the business, UConn Video, I'm Jody Ambrosio. Thanks for joining us on Center Ice.